Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker, Dan Hop Realtors. Well, once again, I'm on my favorite one acre lot community, Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. And the reason I'm here is because this lot that I have listed, well, it's still on the market. We've had quite a few price drops since I first video it, but I want to do another updated video just so you get the latest and greatest. Let's go check it out. Now, I'm not putting exactly what the price is. I'll put that in the description box because that makes it easier for me to update it. Uh, if we have another uh, price reduction, I don't have to reshoot another video. Oh, look at that beautiful Tiger 900. Uh, I love this part of Vintage Oaks. It's in the natural gas section. If you're worried about taxes, you're looking at about 1.8 for the acre lot section. And this lot is just at one acre. The property line is going to go, if you can kind of see the, uh, tele the electrical post right there. And the lot next door has now cleared out a lot of their cedars and they're getting ready to start building. But you can clearly see the edge of the property line right there. Um, I've done other video tours of this lot. I'll, I'll put that link in the description as well. But I want to walk back. Uh, you can tell there's some nice oak trees there. But I want to walk back on this cleared acre just so you can see uh, an idea of what this lot might look like once some of these trees start getting there and uh, they kind of clear the build site. This is a uh, quiet road, uh, Salt Lake. It's not on the main road. You got curvature right up the road there. Gives you easy access if you want to go to the amenity center. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to be doing a two-parter today. I'm also going to be getting on my motorcycle and showing what's going on in this part of the community. But, I mean, if you did the build site starting kind of even like right back behind where the little debris catch fence is, you have plenty of space back here for your house and your backyard. And the reason I'm showing you this lot instead of the lot I'm showing, just because some people have a hard time visualizing it without all the trees. So this gives you a good idea of what the topography of the lot looks like. Actually, I think my lot might be, listing might be a little bit better, but they cleared out just so they could have a decent sized backyard and then keeping the rest natural. Let's go ahead and walk back into the lot that I have listed and I can kind of show you where I think the backyard would be for this lot. As you can see, some of these beautiful oak trees, they've got to stay and there. It's really nice to have an oak tree kind of separating the property lines. And you can see a little stick there showing where the property lines are. But what we're walking on right now into this lot kind of would be where the backyard would be at. There definitely is a little bit of topography, a little slope going down from the front to the back. So you will have some uh, foundation steps on the back. But yeah, this could easily be, uh, I don't know if you can see where my motorcycle is up in the distance. If your house was built up here, this could be like the first part of your backyard. Or if you wanted to have the house sat back long enough, this could be the very end of the house. And then a little step down and this kind of flattens off a little bit back there and have that as your backyard. But it all depends on how far up you have the house. This could be a really nice level backyard section. Let's go ahead and walk down a little bit further. And there are some nice trees that should still be on the property. And show you what, uh, if you have your house pulled back a little bit, you have like a couple different tiers on this lot. Where another tier could be a different backyard or a second backyard. walking down just a little bit so you have a little bit of a, a drop here looks like uh, about three feet going down maybe four and then you've got this tier here going back where this is all relatively level and it goes this kind of goes all the way back to the other side of the property and then after that you've got yet another tier so if you wanted to have like a pool set up on this place or just a regular backyard, if you wanted to have a hot tub or something on this tier or however you wanted to do it, this tier could be really cool if you wanted to kind of keep it a little more natural. 
So uh, if you got people over and y'all wanted to set up a tent or something back here, you could do that. It's hard to tell with all these cedars. Uh, but yeah, if you brought some extra dirt in, this could be another tier here altogether. And then you got the little creek down there. Or just keep this natural, clear out the cedar and have this just kind of a privacy barrier. But you can tell, especially this tier here, this could be a really neat little backyard area. Keep clear out the cedars. You got some gorgeous oaks kind of hidden behind these cedars. And this could make a really not neat little privacy backyard. So I really like that a lot. And you can see the neighbors, they kept their stuff natural going back. Because they, they probably want a little more privacy as well. And a good thing about one acre lots is, especially in this part, you're not gonna see your back neighbors at all. But I really do like this lot. Um, it's priced really well now, really competitive. We haven't seen price drops in the last month or so, so it looks like the market is kind of stabilized as far as lots. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in this lot, feel free to reach out to me. All right, well, there's not a lot of really great lots left out at Vintage Oaks anymore. Um, the developer, they're already done. They've already packed up and moved on. So everything that's out here now is on what we call the secondary market, where you need a real estate agent to kind of pull up the lots to show you what's available. And of course, I'm a realtor, I can do that. And this is my listing. Uh, if you don't have a realtor, I can always find you a realtor because I don't like to represent both sides. It's just slippery grounds for uh, lawsuits, so I don't do that. But this is a wonderful site. And uh, on the next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna my motorcycle and I'm gonna show you around this area. So stay tuned for that. But to wrap up this video, if you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And of course, I want you to share these videos with friends and family, and hopefully you know someone looking for a lot in Vintage Oaks. I've got one. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now.